Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to install Microsoft MDT. Now this is going to be a several part series starting with how to install Microsoft Windows ADK. Now I'm assuming that you have already downloaded all the files required for this installation but I have also included in the description some links to a written guide along with the links to the required files. So let's begin. First of all, let's navigate to where we downloaded our files to. For me, I downloaded it to my documents in the downloads folder and we're going to select the Windows 10 ADK build 1607 which as the time of the recording of this video is the latest version of the ADK. So let's double click. Now on the first screen you'll be asked to choose your installation directory. I'm going to change this to be my D drive and I'm going to select next. If you'd like to participate in the Microsoft Customer Experience Program, select select yes. But for me I'm going to select no and select next. Read Microsoft's license agreement and if you agree to their agreement, click agree. Otherwise, select decline. If you select, select decline, please be aware you will not be able to follow the rest of this installation. From the features you want to install window, we need to make sure that we have Windows deployment tools selected. We need to make sure we have Windows pre-installation environment selected. We need to make sure that we have Imaging and Configuration Designer, ICD, selected. We need to make sure we have Configuration Designer selected. We need to make sure we have User State Migration Tools, USMT, selected. We do not need volume activation management tool. We also do not need the Windows Performance Toolkit. We do not need the Windows Assessment Service. We do need Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Express, but we do not need the Microsoft User Experience Virtualization. And we do not need the Microsoft Application Virtualization. And we do not need the Media Experience Analyzer. The total size for this installation is about 4.8 gig. Once you've got all of the relevant features selected, click on the Install button. You'll be prompted by the User Account Control to allow the application to install. Now this installation will take a little while to complete depending on your internet connection. So to keep the video short, I'm actually going to pause the video at this point and I will be back with you when the installation completes. Okay, so as you can see, the installation of the Microsoft Assessment and Deployment Toolkit has now completed. Now, I'm going to close the installer, and I'm going to close that. And in the next video, we will cover the installation and basic configuration of Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. If you like the video, don't forget to click like beneath and if you would like to subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon.